Hey guys, let's look at some multiplication symbols. You should be, make sure you know these. So make sure, again, you're writing your notebook with the uh, page and the, you know, the 19 at the, at the top right so you know which uh, lessons are which and so on. So in algebra, there are a number of ways to write four times three. We used to do it this way, but the X's will get confusing so you need to break out of that habit and start using dots. So four times three is one example. Another thing you can do, you can just say four, you know, times three like this is okay. Or you could go, you know, four times three, or you might even go both of those four, you know, with parentheses or whatever. Anytime you see parentheses, you're talking about multiplication. So just several ways to, to write multiply. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and multiply fractions again. What's the rule of multiplying fractions? What do you do here? Just numerators, times, and then denominators, right? So the top will be 20. The bottom is 63. No worrying about common denominators, none of that jazz, unless you're adding or subtracting. Okay, so simplify this something to the third power. That's two thirds to the to the third power. Now, don't forget. Let's say you had five to the third power. What does that actually mean? If you had to explain to a younger kid, the kid sees this five to the third power. You're the teacher for 30 seconds. How do you explain that to the kid? That's short for five as a factor three times, right? And the answer is 125. Well, it doesn't, that doesn't change just because this is a fraction. If something is known to be this, when it's used this kind of number, then it's the same thing when it's a fraction, doesn't matter. So I think probably what you'll have to do at first, unless you wanna think this out, is visualize this is gonna be two thirds times two thirds times two thirds, okay? So the same, you do the same thing all the way across the top. 2 times 2 times 2, 8. 3 times 3 times 3, 27. That's your answer. There we go. You can't reduce that any because 8 and 27 don't share any factors. Okay, all the rest of that, all right? Canceling, very handy to do. We've kind of already done this a little bit in previous uh, lessons by kind of dividing. You can look at it as dividing if you want to. In a fraction, anytime you see something in the numerator, that means multiply. In the denominator, that means divide. You can do it in any order you want to. You can take a numerator over here, and if there's a denominator over here, there's a 12 over here, and there's a 12 way over here, gone. Do it. Cancel them out. So let's look at this. You could go, oh, 3 times 2 is 6. 8 times 3 is 24. 6 over 24 reduced uh, 1 fourth. Or you could just go like this. You could say, okay, well, the 3 divided by 3 is 1, gone. 2 divided by 8, well, I mean, 2, you know, 2 over 8, you could just say, well, 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 8 four times, then you have nothing except for the 1 on top and the 4 on the bottom, so your answer is 1 fourth. Much simpler to do it that way. And especially if you have a bunch of fractions, they string them end to end. Oh, for heaven's sakes, don't, don't get some gigantic numerator, you've multiplied all these numbers, and then try to go over a denominator that's giant too, and then spend the rest of your life and to your old, like, you know, 53 years old or something, doing that, take too much time. Okay, all right, here's another example. Copy this down. Okay, well, I, you know, look, look at how you can cancel this. You've gotta look at and go, okay, you, this is where, again, your division tables and your, and your times tables are absolutely uh, just critical that you know this. You should see that seven goes into 28 and 35. It goes into 28 four times, and it goes into 35 five times. You should also see that 11 goes into 22 two times, and that 11 goes into 33 three times. So now we have a situation where, again, if you see this on top, you have a two and a four and a five and a three, if you see anything else you can do, you can cancel, go ahead and do it. In other words, this number and that number, if that's so, cancel it. Or this number and this number, or this number and that number, or that number and this number, whatever. As long as one's on top and one's on bottom, that's a division problem, cancel it out. But anyway, you can't. So two times four all the way across is eight. Five times three is 15. Nothing else you can do about that. Leave it, eight fifteenths, okay? How about this one? Pause it and copy this thing down. Okay, well, it, you know, this is kind of weird. You can do, you know, some different things with this. You could look at 18 over 30 and go, wait a minute, six goes into both of those. I'm gonna cancel that out. Well, you know what, in fact, let's just do that. Don't write this down. If you cancel this out and go, okay, this is 18, it goes three times here, and then six goes into this uh, five times there. Then you can go, wait a minute, three and nine, 
three goes into three one time, and three goes into nine three times, and then there we go. So you can say four is what's left here. That's gonna be four times one is four. Then you can go three and five are what's left, so you have 15, and then your answer is four fifteenths. There you go. Let's just pretend you didn't see 18 over 30. You saw 18 and nine. Well, great, nine goes into nine one time, nine goes into 18 two times. And you looked over and you went, wait a minute, four goes into 30, four and 30, two goes into both of those. Or some people thought, oh wait, two and 30, two goes into both of those, fine, whatever. Let's just say you saw this one. Two goes into four twice, and two goes into 30, 15 times. And there we go, that's all you can do. So on top we have two times two is four, and on bottom we have one times 15, and then there we go. If you remember, that's the same thing we got just a minute ago. So it doesn't matter what order you do this. As long as you do it right and you keep chopping and chopping at it, you should get the same answer as the person next to you who did it a completely different way. Okay, all right, let's divide some fractions. You tell me what you remember. What's the rule about dividing fractions? What do you have to do with that second fraction? You flip it and then you multiply it, right? So we're not doing 21 over six with that jazz, we're doing 21 over six times four over 27. And again, look at this before you ever multiply a fraction to see if you can cancel to make this way easier on yourself, okay? And you can. In fact, you can look at 21 and three goes into this and six, or you could say, wait a minute, three goes into this and this. Oh, wait a minute, two goes into four and six, or any, any of those, in, any combination is fine as long as you're consistent. Let's just say we did the two. Two goes into four two times. Two goes into six three times. Now you could take care of the 21 and the three, or you could do 21 and 27, it doesn't really matter. Let's just say we did 21 and three. So three goes into three one time. Three goes into this seven times. Boom, there we go. So on top we have a seven times two, and on bottom we have one times 27, and that's it. Followers to it, there you go, okay. All right, go to page 68. Give those problems a whirl. And then we'll come together in just a second and do those together. Okay, well, let's try. I think the easiest thing is to cancel. And, you know, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. That's going to be 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 9 three times. 4 goes into 4 one time. And then 4 goes into 12 three times. So multiplying straight across 1 times 1 and then 3 times 3. There you go. That's all there is to it. All right. This is a division problem. Don't forget, every fraction is a division problem. So what this actually means is this is 3 eighths times what? 6 fourths. And this is definitely where I would cancel. You can either cancel these two because they both have, are divisible by 2, or these two because they're divisible by 2. Let's just do these because they're right on top of each other. So 3 goes into 6, uh, excuse me, 2 goes into 6 3 times. 2 goes into 4, 2 times. All right? Now you can't cancel this 3 and that 3 because they're both at the top. But that's about as far as you can go. So let's go 9 there and then 16. Boom. There you go. All of us do it. Okay. Let's do the last one. 4 fifths divided by 10 fifths. That really means 4 fifths times 5 tenths, right? Now look at this, the fives will cancel. Five divided by five is one, just get rid of it. Two goes into four twice. Two goes into 10 five times. Two times one is two. One times five is five. And there we go, dollar is two, okay. All right, I hope you had fun with that. Knock out those problems, do the best you can. Try to get 25 right today. Get 25 right, take a little extra time on each one. See if you can get 25 right, figure out all the ones you missed and then uh, We'll do it next next thing tomorrow too. So, all right. See ya.